Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss lead code question 137 that says single number 2. So guys this question is a difficult to take the first step that is the intuition part is very much difficult here like if you haven't solved this question in the past and trying to solve this question for the first time then coming up with the intuition from the given problem statement is a bit difficult. But don't worry guys watch this video till the end and make sure you like it and subscribe to our channel. So here in this question you will be given one nums item. And inside this nums array, all the elements would be repeated three times except one element. Okay. So we need to find that single element or the element with one frequency because all other elements would have the frequency three. Uh, and we are asked to implement this solution in a linear runtime. So that is uh, big O of n time complexity and a constant extra space. So that is big O of one extra space. So this time and space complexity we have to keep in mind in order to solve this question. Now if you take a look at the first example here the element with a value 2 is repeated 3 times whereas element with a value 3 is repeated once so 3 is our answer. Uh, in the example 2 0 is repeated 3 times 1 is repeated 3 times only remaining is 99 that is repeated once so 99 is our answer. Now guys brute force solution for this question is very much simple that uh, we can use one unordered, unordered map to store the frequency of each element. And then we would traverse twice. So first traversal would be to store the elements in the unordered map, and second traversal would be to check the frequency of each element. And any and the element with a one frequency is our answer. Okay, so that is very easy approach to solve this question. But it will cause to big of n space complexity, and we have we are required to solve this in big of one. So the complexity arises here. Now. Uh, to think of how you can solve it in big of one uh, space complexity and big of n time complexity it's very much difficult but if i give you a hint let's say bit manipulation then how you can uh, use this bit manipulation hint in order to solve this question so whatever elements that are repeated three times would have that bit position uh, repeated three times okay so that means uh, if the element is repeating repeated three times then at that uh, then the set bit position would also repeat three times and the element that is repeated one times would uh, would uh, and that ele that element bits would be also repeated one. So what does that means? So let's say um, you are given you are considering five bits, last five bits. Okay, this is zero, first, second, third, and fourth bit from the end. And all these bits would be either of a form three n or three n plus one, right? Because either it would be repeated three n three uh, three times, so it would be of three n multiple or 3n plus 1 because um, it is repeated three times or some elements are repeated three times but there would be one element that is that would be repeated only one so the number of bits at each position would be either the multiple of 3n or 3n plus 1 how uh, how you can observe this let's see so yeah bit manipulation approach we can use to solve this question uh, because if a number repeat three times then its set bit would appear three times as well okay so uh, to observe this, let's say you are given this nums item 3, 2, 5, 5, 3, 3 and 5. So here if you, you can clearly say that 3 is repeated 3 times, uh, 2 is our answer and uh, yeah you can see 5 is also repeated 3 times. So our answer is 2. Now um, if you write this in the form of bits, so 3 can be represented as 0, 1, 1, 2 is 0, 1, 0, 5 is 1, 0, 1, then 1, 0, 1, again 3 and 3 and then 5. Now if you uh, see the count of bits at uh, at let's say zeroth position so there are six bits at the first position there are four bits and at the second position at, there are three bits and beyond this are all zeros right these are all zeros for all numbers this is zero right now so we will consider the last uh, bits last three bits here okay now if uh, now you can see that these three bits are nothing but either the multiple of three and or three n plus one so this three is yeah it's a multiple of three n then this four is three n plus one six is again multiple of three n so that means all the bits uh, after uh, taking after considering all the elements the bit or the count of bits at each position would be either 3n or 3n plus 1. Now how to know whether uh, the how to know the element that is repeated once. So for that what we can simply do is we can simply take modulus 3. So this is modulus of 3. So here the count is 3. 3 modulus 3 is 0. Count is 4. 4 modulus 3 is 1. So here we get 1 as our answer and 6 modulus 3 is 0. So our final answer is 0 1 0. And that is what that is the representation of decimal 2 in the binary okay so that is our answer okay got it let's take a look at another example for better idea so here we have uh, we have uh, this one repeated three times two repeated three times four repeated three times and uh, 
uh, phi is only repeated once. So if you count the bits present at the zeroth index for all the elements, so you will see that there would be four ones at the zeroth index. See, this, 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 and this phi would con would contribute to the zeroth index. Okay, so there would be four set bits. Now at uh, index one, this two, uh, this three two would uh, would contribute to the index one, and this four would contribute to index three. Uh, sorry, index two. Why? See, representation of four is one zero zero. 2 is 0 1 0, 5 is 1 0 1 and 1 is 0 0 1. So at a, at a at a index 0 there would be 3 1s and 1 of 5. So there would be 4 1s. Here it would be 3, here it would be 4. Now if you take modulus of 3 from all this then it our answer would be 1 0 1. And yet that is the deci that is the binary representation of the element that is uh, having one frequency in our nums array. So that is fine. Okay. So yeah, it is fine. So guys that each the count of set bits at each position would be either 3n or 3n plus 1 so we can take the modulus with 3 yeah it we can so that's why we take modulus with 3 and whatever we get as a remainder we form our decimal from that remaining remainder bits okay got it so yeah we will be using this logic to code up our solution so here what we did is uh, we initialize the current bits or the bits number or the count of bits at the current position then the p for the power and k equals to 3 that means we, here we are finding uh, for uh, uh, k equals to 3 3 means there are uh, elements in there that are repeated in a set of 3 okay i will uh, explain you this later on why i took this way and we have taken a long answer equal to 0 initialize answer as 0 now since for each position of bits we need to check uh, the count of bits and take the modulus so how many such position would be there there would be 32 such position okay so considering the 32 bits what we did is for all 32 position of the bits we ran this inner for loop so this inner for loop will check uh, whether the uh, let's say we are checking for the zero position whether the zero position of the nums of j is set or not how we will do that so we would do that by taking bitwise n okay let me explain you this so let's say you have some number one 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 zero one okay let this number now we have to check whether the zeroth bit is set or not so this is zero this is first second third fourth whether the zeroth uh, position bit is set or not so what we did is we took uh, bitwise n with one so if you take so one and one would represent uh, would give the result one and one and uh, and yeah zero and one would represent zero Okay, this is the simple bitwise n operation. So we are taking nums of j bitwise n with one. So if this is one, then what we are doing? We are increment. We are adding that one count in the in the current bit. So that is the count of bits at the current position. Okay. See, initially it was zero. Then for each uh, nums, what we are adding? We are adding one. If this bit is set, then if, once the bit is set, then uh, then what we are doing? We are right shift. Do performing the right shift. Why? because let's say uh, you check this for loop is completed this all operation is completed and you again came back to this outer for loop so in that second time what you will check you will check the set bit for first index set bit or for the first index so, so next iteration you will check this now how you can check this you can check this if you have performed right shift so in a right shift what we did is one 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 zero and yeah so we simply uh, remove this uh, last one and sh shift all the other uh, bits towards the right so we perform right shift so that's why we can take easily bitwise and with one so we can check whether the last bit is set or not and since we have already performed the right shift then the every time the last shift uh, last bit we check would be the current bit or let's say now we, uh, here we are checking for the first index bit so the last bit for this nums would be the first index then again we would right shift right so for the next iteration when we, when we would be checking for the second index bit then that bit would be present at the last okay here because every after every time of checking we are right shifting okay or you can say simply removing the bit that is checked okay so to perform uh, this operation efficiently we are performing the right shift and this count of uh, this will store the count of bits at the current position okay now let's say you got something like so here 101 you got and you we want to convert this by uh, binary to decimal like 5 
how we would do that so for that so let's say at the zeroth position we got one then we would do what we would add one to our answer then at one index we got zero then we won't add anything then at this position we got one then we would add four so so that overall answer is five okay then we got we will get our answer now how we would perform this so we would do is we would do uh two comma p uh, means we would take the power of two so in this uh, when we are checking for the zeroth beat then we would do two power zero plus uh, uh when we were checking for the first bit we were checking two power one then we would check for two power two okay got it and if you want to represent phi in this way then it is nothing but one two power zero plus zero two power one plus one two co power two so this is phi right okay so that same thing we are doing here if the current current bits uh is so current bits is this and then we are taking modulus k with uh, as we already discussed we would take modulus with three and then we would get either zero or one as a remainder right we won't get two as a remainder because the count of bits are of three and or three and plus one so this will represent this will represent as a zero remainder and this will give us our answer as a remainder one so either we would have remainder zero or one so this would be our remainder that we would multiply each time zero or one and then inside that we have to take two power zero for the next iteration two power one then two power two how we would do that so for that we have maintained one variable p and we are making two power zero and for the next for loop two power one then two power two two power three and so on right and this is the current bit so this is how we would uh, do calculation so this is um, so this calculation would be done for the when i equal to zero this calculation would be done when i equals to one this would be done when i equals to two see for this i i am talking about so this we will do for 32 position of the bits okay so yeah guys that's how we will come up to our answer okay so guys this will take uh, time complexity of big of n multiplied by 32 so time complexity would be n multiplied by 32 and space complexity is big of 1 as we are not storing anything so yeah guys this complies with the question that uh, was given that we have to use constant express extra space as well as linear time complexity since 32 is not a big, huge number we can consider this as a linear time complexity now guys if you are asked to uh, to uh, if you are given let's say on question that all the elements in the num set are repeated k times uh, apart from one element that is uh, repeated once so you are given some question like this that uh, that there are n minus one elements that are itself repeated k times and there would be one element that would repeat only once so how you would solve this so by using the concept that we learn learned right now so here we would simply change the value of the k because if the n n minus one elements would be re, would be repeated k times, then n k uh, then the number of uh, bits at each position would be either n k or n k plus one. So here k was three. See, n times three or n times three plus one. But if k is let's say four or k is let's say five, then we have to simply change modulus that we were doing here because the count of bits at each position would be either of these two. Okay, got it. So yeah, this is you can say one follow-up question to this given uh, question right uh, so yeah that's all for this video if you guys have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you